When you're ready to cut a design, you have several options in the way it cuts. This tutorial will cover cutting by line color and by fill color. In the Send panel, you'll see several choices across the top for Action By, Simple, Line, and Fill. Designer Edition and Higher users will also see Layer as a choice. Simple basically means all the lines are scheduled to cut at the same time which is what you would use if you are cutting the entire design at once out of a single material. To break up your project into multiple cutting stages, you can use Action by Line Color or by Fill Color. You might use these advanced cutting choices if you are cutting from multiple types of material on the same mat, or if you want to use a combination of tools, such as Sketch, then Cut. Let's look at Cutting by Fill Color first. I've got this globe filled with color to represent the different papers I have, but they're not all the same type of paper. I can still cut them all at once on my mat in the same cut job. I'll go to the Send panel, and you'll see each fill color on my page is represented on its own line. I've chosen a different material type for each fill color, and we'll just make sure that portion of my mat is covered with the correct paper for each shape. I'm using a Cameo 3 so I have two tool choices available for each line. I'm just going to use the auto blade in the left tool holder and it will adjust itself in between each line. You can use the check boxes to turn off or on each fill color. You even have choices of cut and cut edge for each line here in the advanced settings if you have overlapping shapes. The machine will cut from the top down on this list so simply drag a box color up or down if you want to move its position in the queue. I've already selected my material type for each color, which can be verified or adjusted in this area below. I want these all to cut, and I'm using my auto blade for the whole job. If I were using a ratchet blade, I would need to add a pause between each line so I could manually adjust my blade between each material before clicking Resume. This is ready to send. Now let's look at cutting by line color. It's basically the same as cutting by fill color, but using line colors to designate the cuts instead of fill colors. I'll show you a different example where I want to sketch, then cut around the sketched design. With this train design, I've got my line color in green where I want to sketch it, and my offset cut line in red. Let's go to the send panel again. This time I'll choose the line action. You can see each line color is represented here. I want to sketch first with the right tool holder of my Cameo 3, so I'll drag the green color to the top and choose the blue tool. For my material, I'll choose cardstock plain. On the action, I want to choose sketch, and the tool will automatically change to a sketch pen. Now my red line color is for cutting, so I'll leave it with the red or left tool holder and change the material to cardstock plain. I want this to cut with my auto blade. Now this design is ready to sketch with the right tool holder and then cut with the left tool holder. If your silhouette doesn't have dual tool holders, remember you can add a pause between lines to manually change your tool. That was a simple example, but you can get pretty complex with multiple sketch colors on these advanced cut settings. I've got three sketch colors here, so I'm sketching with the left tool holder, then the right tool holder, then can swap out for a third color and my blade during a pause. If you have a single blade carriage, you simply add more pauses and ignore the red and blue tool choices you see here. Or you can uncheck the cut boxes and send one color at a time without unloading your mat in between. I hope you can see what great choices you have when cutting by line color or by fill color. Thanks for watching.